ministry. Oh, it's been a long time. No, I'm joking. It hasn't been a long time. It, well, the last time I did my video was in autumn and I was sitting on the bench with Father Yahweh and speaking to you all lovely people. So now I'm walking down the road and it's very windy. Father Yahweh is bringing the wind today and plus it's cold and it is in December. We are in December and so what happens in December? It's called Christmas. Christmas. Chris. Chris. Who's Chris? Christmas. Well, Father Yahweh has a few things to say about that. Father Yahweh is asking who is Chris? Who is Chris? Isn't it spelled as Christ Mass? But how come we pronounce it as Christmas? So if you look at the word Christ Mass, Christ Mass. So you're actually putting Jesus to death every day. You're actually celebrating his death by saying Christ Mass. Happy Christ Mass. Happy Christ Mass. That's exactly what you're saying. And Father Yahweh also wants to say that um, it is actually not biblical. Christmas is not biblical. It's not in the Bible. So why are we celebrating it? Roman Catholicism has invented Christmas. Roman Catholicism has invented all these traditions. Easter, pagan, another pagan uh, celebration. Okay? This is not in the Bible. Okay? The Lord Jesus was not born on December the 25th. When the men came, when the wise men came to visit him, he was 18 months old. He was a toddler. He wasn't a little baby in a manger. No. Because the Lord was not born in that time. He was born in September. So we're basically putting ourselves ahead of God for our own fleshly desires. Because it's not making God happy, okay? Especially his Christians, especially his children. Okay, non-believers, you don't know. And you know, non-believers, they have, they have a little reason why they want to celebrate this Christmas. They genuinely think that this is the celebration of Jesus' birth. But it's not, okay, non-believers, it's not. And Santa is Satan. If you look at the, the letters, if you put them under, underneath each other, it says Satan, okay? And many people are saying, Father Christmas, Father Satan, you're saying, every time. And Christians, the Lord is saying, stop saying Father Christmas, because you're basically saying Father Satan. Why don't we say Father Yahweh? What will Father, what will Father Yahweh provide for us for Christmas? Not for Christmas, you see, even I'm saying Christmas. You see how addictive this, when this word gets in your brain, probably that's why it says Chris because you remember Christ, oh Christmas, Christ Mass, it's Christ Mass, okay, why don't we say, what will Father Yahweh provide for us, what will Father Yahweh provide for me, or uh, what will pro Father Yahweh provide for my little child, but we say Father Christmas, which is basically Satan masquerading under a big red suit and a fat belly and a grey beard. Sorry I, sorry, I shouldn't say fat belly, but a big belly, let's say. And he's supposed to be this uncle figure. Ha 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 ho ho. He ho he. And you, you know, this is pure pagan. And we as Christians, we're celebrating this. And it's not in the Bible. It's not in the Bible. You are celebrating something from the devil. Okay? So the Lord is basically telling me to tell you Christians, born again Christians who I love. I love you all in the Lord, okay? Because we have to help each other and love each other. And even Paul speaks about it. 
that we need to address whoever's gone wrong and, and, and confess our sins to each other and repent. So the Lord is, uh, I'm reading now from my daily light. Um, I've had it for since I was young, since I was a child, sorry, I'm still young. Um, and it is my daily light that I've had for such a long time and I love it because it is the word of God. So I'm going to read here. It says, The day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. This is especially from the Lord right now speaking directly to all Christmas people celebrating Christmas, Christ Mass. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of light and the children of day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Okay, so God is clearly saying we are in the light, okay? We are not non-believers. We should not partake in pagan celebrations, okay? That's basically God saying, be in the light. This is all the dark. This is in the dark, okay? And also, God wants to say about non-believers and Christians, okay? Many Christians have had to say goodbye to non-believers as friends. Because why? Because God says, what hath light have with darkness? What communion does, does, does the light have with darkness? None. Okay. I had a dream, another prophetic dream that I had. And in the dream it was dark. It was pitch black. And the Lord God said to me, do you want people to come here? Okay. Now I have a lot of friends that I love that are not really my friends. They're associates of mine, to be correct. Okay. I work with them and I love them. I pray for them not to go to hell. I pray for them to know the Lord Jesus as, the, as, the, as their personal Lord and Savior. Okay, so instead of me going out with them all the time and having deep friendships with them all the time, you should be separate from them. Okay, as the Lord said, come ye out from among them and be separate, says the Lord. Okay, so I love them so much probably more than their other friends I don't because I don't want them to go to hell because hell is a real place so the more you're spending time with these non-believers and you're not telling them the gospel okay they could die and you know you don't know if they've gone to hell or heaven that's what the Lord said to me do you want people to come here okay so once you're separate from non-believers you can then pray for them. You can pray to God to have mercy on them, to save them, okay? So while we're all celebrating Christ Mass, the Lord can come back in a blink of an eye. And are you going to be left behind drinking, which we should not be doing, because Jesus did not turn wine into alcohol. And I have all information and all historic references from brother Dr. Banda, who is a certified Bible scholar and he has translated the whole King James Bible and he's spent his whole life doing what he does for the Lord. A very, very humble man of God. And God is asking for us as born again, Bible believing, God fearing Christians. Are we going to celebrate Christ's death or happy Magi? which is when the Lord did receive gifts on the 25th of December. See, he's still being kind. He's still giving us something to, to celebrate, even while this is going on, this pagan celebrations. At least we're celebrating something that's biblical, like Hanukkah. All the Jewish festivals comply with the Lord Jesus Christ, because the Lord Jesus Christ, he is Jewish. He, was, he is Jewish, okay? It's not going to be anything to do with Roman Catholicism. Again, like Easter. Again, Easter is pagan. It's Passover. Okay, that, but that's another video. 
now I'm just talking about non-believers, mixing non-believers with Christians and the, 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 the festival called Christmas. Not festival, sorry, the, the celebration, should we say. Okay, the time of year. It's not biblical, guys. And God is fed up with it. Christmas trees are pagan. It's idol worship. Okay. We don't know what God is going to bring this Christmas. Okay, because he's not happy. And I'm being very, very prophetic. Look at the weather. It's very, very windy. It's going to get very, very windy. Okay. So while people are celebrating Christ Mass, think about the word. And stop making excuses. It's not in the Bible. So why are you celebrating it? That's what Father Yahweh is saying. Why not celebrate the birth, the death, the resurrection every minute of your life? Why not use the Lord Jesus Christ as an example to give presents to people, to love people? Why do we do it on Christ Mass? Okay, I understand for non-believers because they, they, they know no better and they have, you know, they don't know. But now you know, guys, Christians, now you know wake up okay stop celebrating it it's a pagan festival okay the lord jesus christ he can come back anytime anytime one girl she was dancing yeah in a wedding and she's a christian and she was dancing uh like you know kind of like uh, provocatively and it was between her and a bunch of six people all in a line and you weren't expecting it one moment she's there, the next minute she's gone. Fell on the floor, smacked her head on the floor. We don't know where she's gone. We don't know her life. But if you're a Christian and you're, and you're dancing provocatively at a wedding, meaning your last thoughts were not on Christ, you were in the flesh. So that's why, brothers and sisters, I want to say that I love you, the Lord Jesus, he loves you more, okay? He died on the cross for your sins, for our sins, but I love you, okay? And I know it sounds really harsh, but we need to make God happy because we're just passing through this life. Don't get so caught up in the world. This is all going to go, okay? Okay? And we have to love one another without, um, you know thinking about these 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 celebrations that are just superficial people can hardly afford food and people are going into debt because of this christ mass this is not of god god doesn't want us to go broke just to put turkey on the table and just to buy presents this is very materialistic guys wake up okay at least celebrate magi that's when the lord received gifts and he was 18 months old Okay, so just the idea of knowing that Christ was not born, okay, on December the 25th should make you realize that what you're doing, okay, knowingly, okay, if you don't know, then thank God you, you know now. But now you know, okay, so God is saying stop celebrating it and don't expect, I don't think, you know, we're gonna have good weather because you know the weather's going a bit crazy we don't know what father god is gonna do because there are gonna be earthquakes there are gonna be um you know uh different unusual strange weathers because we're living in the last days guys it's already written in the bible but we should be making god proud and serving him and loving him and telling others about the gospel and especially about non-believers okay so god bless you and I love you. Mwah.